Many will be making their way to the polls this morning. A record number have already cast their ballots through absentee voting. Max Ofer joins us with an update on the numbers. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Sophie. That's right. I'm live here at one of the polling locations in Sioux Falls, just off 57th in Minnesota, where I'm joined by two voters. Uh, we have Cynthia and her daughter, Grace. Now, uh, general election excitement. What's, what's going through your minds right now, you guys? Well, I just feel like it's important to get out there and vote and make your voice count. Um, we've had a lot of people who've come before us so that we have this right, and um, that's why we're here. We wanted to make sure we could get out and get our vote in and have it counted. Today. Absolutely. And I know we were talking a little bit before the interview. Grace, you're actually only 17, right? Yep, yeah, I'm only 17, so I can't vote yet, but I decided to come along and see the process and get ready for four years from now or two years from now when I can. Absolutely. And so what are uh, you been chatting with the people in line? What kind of things are you hearing? Um, I think there was um, some discussion of attempts to mail in vote and then some people just discussing that they wanted to get out early and um, not have to come after work or after their activities. Um, I don't think we really heard people's preferences of who they would be voting for, so mm -hmm. that was okay because I think it's just important for everybody to, um, you know, vote for someone, vote with their conscience and what they feel is right for them, and mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and I know a lot of people have been actually voting absentee this year. We've been hitting record numbers. Right. Uh, why did you choo to choose to vote here in person? Well, for me, it's part of um, that it's kind of a, a, a right to exercise, and it feels like um, almost like a milestone to go in and, and do this in person. Um, I also was a little bit concerned about some of the suggestions that mail-in ballots wouldn't be valid or safe or legitimate, and so I just wanted to show up in person. And early voting in person was just a little bit difficult to arrange with work hours. So For sure. And I know there's still a lot of people who haven't voted yet. Uh, why, why is it important to, uh, to do this today? Well, I think, again, just to make your voice heard and exercise that right that so many people who have come before have uh, fought for for us. You know, it wasn't that long ago in general women didn't even have the right to vote or people of certain um, races didn't have the right to vote. So I, just, I think it's important that everybody um, take advantage of what people ahead of us fought for. Absolutely. And from the looks of it, I think I overheard uh, someone saying he wants everyone to stand in line inside to warm up. So I'll let you two get in there. You're smart to bring uh, ahead of time to bring coats. But I want to thank you both so much for your time this morning. You're Grace, Cynthia. Get out and vote. Uh, yes. Uh, Matt or Sophie, Travis, I'll send it right back to you two.